Hey guys, Mike Olasky here at uh, Olasky Martial Arts in Burbank, California, here for your kickboxing combination of the week. Now this week what we're going to focus on are something called destruction techniques. Destruction techniques have gotten um, a bit popular over the internet and with some crowds here, mainly because of the Silva Weidman fight, where Silva um, unfortunately broke his leg uh, against Weidman, who was presumably performing one of these destruction techniques. Now, destruction, the word in and of itself, seems pretty dangerous, but they're not as fantastic as you saw what happened in the Silva fight. Generally, destructions only refer to something what, that is called an offensive defense. And the goal is to make your opponent disinclined to throw that movement again. When something hurts when they throw the kick, they're generally not going to throw that kick again, or they're going to throw the kick, but perhaps not as powerful. So let's move on to the shadow boxing portion of this demonstration, and then uh, we'll move on from there. All right, so we're going to do two separate moves, or two, in two separate combinations. So to begin with, uh, we're going to do what is called a foot stomp, or a leg stop. Much like a teep in Muay Thai, the leg raises straight up, but in this case, your front leg is going to pick up at a 45 degree angle to stop that rear leg kick aiming for the knee or for the quad. You'll see how this works in more detail during the uh, pad work portion of this video. So you bring the foot up to stop that rear leg kick as it comes in. You're going to end with a cross, a hook, a cross, and then a double rear leg kick. Okay, so once again, leg stop, cross, hook, cross, double rear leg. One more time, leg stop, that's your destruction, and with the cross, the hook, the cross, and double rear leg. The next combination that we're going to work is a rear leg cross over leg shield. So you bring it up and around, and up and around. So bonus off of this, we're gonna finish it. It comes up and around, and then you're going to side kick the either knee or the inner thigh of your opponent, ending with the rear leg kick to a cross, to an elbow, and then grab a knee. One more time with that, you're going to do a crossover kick to a stomp, step through with the kick, cross, elbow, knee. For the third time, bring it up, cross it over, stomp, step through with the kick, cross, elbow, and then knee. I believe it's that crossover leg shield that actually did Silva in with that, with that leg break. So there it is for you, okay? Now let's move on to the actual uh, pad work portion of the video so you can see how this is applied. And um, beyond that, you're gonna wanna get some shin guards on and let's make it happen. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the pad application here, the pad work section of the video. The first one that we did is that front leg stuff. That's where you see we aim for the knee area, and that's where the destruction comes into play. Okay, so it goes one, and then cross, then hook, then cross, then double rear leg, one and two. Okay, one more time, hit, cross, hook, cross, double rear. One more time at speed. Okay, one more time at speed. Perfect. Now that's the uh, first one. The second one is that crossover. As the kick comes up, I hit it and I stomp here. Kick through, then cross, then elbow, then knee. One more time. We're going to cross leg shield. Knee. Kick through, to cross, to elbow, to knee. Couple times at speed. Okay, one more time. Perfect. So that's the pad application. Do this as many times as it takes for you to get that flowing nice and well. Remember, this is YouTube, so if you're missing it, you don't understand it, ask in comments or rewind it as many times as you need. All right, guys, switching sides here so you can see the other side and moving on to praxis work or practical application. Now, getting this and accomplishing this in sparring starts to move into more what we call fight theory as opposed to just drilling it, because what we're doing now is a counter motion to what your opponent is, is attacking you with. So, unless you can see into the future, there's no real way to actually practice this. 
So, of course, one way to do it is just to react to whenever he throws that kick. Here, boom, and then there it is. Okay? The other is where, again, we start to get into fight theory, which is now baiting the kick. What is baiting the kick? Well, it's much like baiting in fishing. You bait a hook and you throw it in the water, and that's going to bait the fish and to come and, and bite on that hook. It's the same thing here. What you need to do is you need to create an atmosphere where your opponent wants to actually kick you as opposed to anything else. What that means for you is staying far enough away to where you're out of this punch zone. If I'm too close in, he's going to want to punch me, and he's not going to want to kick me. So I stay out of that range, frustrating him enough to where his only move at that point would be to actually kick me. So moving around, I stay out of this level, and then when he throws the kick, I know I'm already in that range, so I'm looking to react to the kick to begin with. That and combining a forward-leaning motion, bait that leg, bring it out there to a point where it looks very sexy to hit that and sting it as hard as you can because you have all of that weight out of you. Okay? So you have your distance, you have your front foot forward just enough to where he wants to hit it, boom, and then you've properly baited that kick to where you can end it. One, one, two, three, one, and two, or in the case of the other one, one, and then hit, then kick, cross, elbow, knee. Okay, so the movements are one, one, two, three, one, and two, and then one, two, kick, elbow, kick. Okay, so once again, baiting, keeping out of that range, Leaning that front foot forward is going to make your one to opponent kick, and then that's how you can begin working those in a, in a sparring or live aspect. All right, guys, that's it for the destruction movements and uh, to end today's kickboxing combination of the week. I talk a little fast, I go a little quickly because I have to standard 10 minutes, and I know this is YouTube, so you guys can rewind and look over again. Also, ask, it, ask questions in the comments if you're confused, if you didn't understand what I said. I'm happy to look over the comments and answer anything you have. Please subscribe and share and like and all of that jazz. And if you're in the Burbank, Studio City, Valley area here in California, come and visit us down at Alaska Martial Arts. We'd love to have you and love to start training.